Well, hello, folks, and very warm welcome back to the Ten Farmer. My name is David, as always, and today is the day the contractors are here and they are for Lion. Look at this system we've got set up here. This is the uh, dribble bar system that they've brought in to help us out because today we're going to have so much hay work that we need to do a lot of mowing down that we're just not going to be able to get through it all ourselves. So we're enlisting the help of a good friend and a contractor there with this, quite frankly, huge setup. And they are going to get on and do their thing. Uh, this is also going to be something that will be hopefully bring these folks back for on our um, land that we're just cutting the hay for now because we'll need to get some extra help there. But they are clearing out our lagoons down by the old cattle shed because we need to knock that down and clear that lagoon through so we can put a new one in there as well. So we're going to have a quick look to see what that looks like as well before we go and jump back over to some hay ground that we started knocking down this morning just before these folks actually arrived. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and have a quick look and then we'll get ourselves away. Just have to quickly pop over that pipe. But yeah, it's an interesting setup they've got here. It's all looking good. And they are, uh, they've been cracking on for not very long at all now. It takes them a little bit of time to get all these hoses set up as you could probably imagine. But now that they are, we are, we're flying. It really shouldn't take them too long to clear out that, uh, the, the lagoon that we have here. Uh, much quicker than it would be if we did it. Uh, you'll notice here as well. A bit more concrete's gone down. This bit is the last bit that was this most recent. A uh, bit of gravel spilled over there as well. But that is in. Uh, and yeah, so we've got a nice wider turn circle there now. So we should be looking perfectly good there. Uh, around the corner, look at the size of this tractor. It's not ours, obviously. It's the contractor's, but it's beastly. And on the back of it is a huge pump, which is pumping out from this lagoon. Uh, and it's sending it all the way up there to the tractor that's spreading it nicely. And then that is how we are working. Uh, at the back here... Things have happened, things are moving, there's brick walls going up there, block walls around the back have gone up there, and along the front feeding barrier as well, and they've even got the feeding rails in, and the roof on, a busy, busy week. And so really, all we've got to do is put the Yorkshire board and sides on here, which won't take them too long to do, uh, and then some grates, and um, the rest of the internals as well, so lighting and also feed tr uh, water troughs. But after that, it's going to be done. Uh, this bit has been left because, of course... We have to be breaking up this lagoon here and then putting the next one in under here as well. All of that will come. It won't take us too long to do, but we've just got to uh, do a few of the bits and pieces first. Uh, once we're good, then it's all done. But yeah, this is a really fascinating system, actually, how it's working there. And it's working very, very well indeed. And when we do get around to putting slurry onto the hay ground that we're mowing down today, we'll probably look to do something similar. It will likely involve us having to cart slurry over to like a lagoon over there, I would imagine. Because I just don't know if we'd be able to pump all the way over there. We might get some of it done. We'd have to look in to see what that looks like. But that is a conversation for a different day. Anyway. Back on in we go. And we are all going to take a little bit of a drive. Uh, and we're going to start to get some of our other hay ground knocked down there. I jumped into it this morning. Did some headlands. It doesn't quite look as tall as I'd like the grass to. But it, uh, it was going to head. So we wanted to get that over. Uh, and then we'll we'll see what the rest of it looks like. But yeah, it is it's it's time. So we are we're making a bit of a go of it. Uh, and if we can get some slurry down in there, get a bit of rain. Hopefully, it's uh, nothing's planned in the for in the forecast there. But if we can get a little bit of rain on to get some uh, good growth for a second cut, then we'll be laughing. But at the moment, we'll just do deal with the cards that we've got and get a start here. Really, we have a lot to do. And it's just me doing it for the most part there. Yes, we'll be getting some help from the nephew in there sooner rather than later. But at the moment there, we'll just have to get going. Uh, and we'll see. But I'm impressed with what we've got for the first one. I am partially thinking as well that we'll maybe make a few more round bales of hay off the ground that, we, that we've that we started to mow down. Just do the headlands maybe. And then the rest of it will go into, uh, into small squares. And all of which are going to be stored up at the, the shed up here out of the way. The shed's in decent enough nick that it'll be able to keep everything uh, weatherproof or at least keep the rain off it. Uh, and then from there, we will we'll see. Uh, now, let's go back here a little bit. Missing our tin here and then get that old gate open. That one's already open. So yeah, you can see we took down uh, the five headlands. Didn't take too long at all. Decided to put the mower onto the older Massey here. Uh, new Massey's going to be doing a lot of work with the loader on there. And it just made a little bit more sense at the moment for this one. Uh, and then we will 
be shuffling things around very quickly no doubt but in we go this ground of course if you are just new or you're returning viewer this is the ground that we took on this year uh, expanded our enterprise out here a little bit we leased this ground uh, and there are there's about 70 acres here all in split into multiple different fields with a block of spring oats at the very far end uh, but this is yeah this is decent grass it's been grass for a while uh, and it is going to continue to stay in grass here and yeah with the idea that we can try and increase our output of hay so we can start to look to diversify and sell a little bit more off into the equine industry right now though let's let this spin up i do love the sound of that mower it's just absolutely superb all right let's uh, get down a gear here Start in, uh, I think, 3C might be good. Maybe we'll go 2C, actually. Uh, and then, a little bit of a bend on here. I'm not quite sure how we're going to tackle this. So what I'll do is just start over here, actually. Try and keep this a little straighter where possible. And all right, we're away. There you go, maybe maybe second gear is not quite enough, but we have a surprising hill here. Uh, it might not show it in the, on the camera, but this is the biggest field, or the, the steepest field that we now have on the farm. Uh, and as you can see, as we look out over to the uh, right there, all of these fields that you can see are going to be ours. There's the spring oats in the far ground, and then the rest of this grass will be baled into hay. Uh, and then we're going to stick it into that newish barn over there as well. Uh, and that will be, should be enough to get quite a few hundred bales off here, I'd say. If not, I'd like to see maybe a, a good 1,500 square bales uh, with a couple of rounds on there as well. But we'll have to see how that comes along. Uh, and if we need to as well, those round bales, if we don't need them ourselves, which I don't think we will, given how many we have there, we can always look to later on uh, unpack them as round bales and stick them into squares if there is a demand to do so. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, now... What we're probably going to do, because we have a little bit of a, a dog-like shape here, is just cut this up about here. Uh, try and get that squared off there. Not very well. Never mind, David. We'll get it on the next cut down, and then we'll be we'll get this all taken care of here. But yeah, so like I said, a lot to do, a lot to cut down. Uh, it's The forecast is looking good for the foreseeable, which is why we're tackling it now. It's not going to grow anymore. At this stage, it's like I say, it's starting to seed. Uh, so we are at the point where it's easy to get a cup and then we can worry about the second cup. Uh, so likely going to throw this around a couple of times uh, with the weather and the breeze that we're looking to have there. I think twice should be enough uh, and we should be good. So we'll we'll see. Um, hopefully the weather gods stay good to us. Usually what would happen is the second I uh, knock some hay down, you know, the forecast just immediately changes. And we're off to do something completely different there and try and salvage some hay in the rain. But it looks good for now. And hopefully that will main, uh, will be the case still uh, towards the end of the week. But I'm looking forward to getting into it. It's going to be the first time we're looking to use our new setup. Uh, using the square baler again with the, the packer as well. Uh, so it should be interesting to see how that all works. And how we function. Now, do I need to do... I'm going to do one more pass down that side. Just so we're all squared off on that edge. But yeah, it is a beautiful day for it. Really, really is stunning. Now we're hoping as well that with the the last bits of the shed are going to be completed soon. This week coming, really. Yorkshire Borden will be on the side there. They've already got everything they need for it, apparently. The slurry lagoon's going to take a little bit longer because we have to dig a hole. We have to make sure that we're, we're looking good from an environmental standpoint and get an inspection for that, apparently. And then we will set the forms for the concrete uh, and pour the, the base slab and then the, the walls will go on after that. So that's going to take a little bit longer. That's going to be about in two weeks before that's ready to, to go. Uh, but we've got the time and we've got the weather. So it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we'll empty that slurry lagoon right out now. Rip out the old one. All that concrete space has been taken away. And because it's going to be recycled, it's going to be crushed by the, the contractor. Uh, the building contractor there. We're, they're just going to take it away and, and keep it themselves really for selling it as hardcore, I suppose. So we, we don't have to pay for the cost there. Uh, start to put in some submissions for the grant aspect of it all as well. Uh, make sure that we can recoup as much of the cost of the concrete as we can. Uh, which we, we should be successful for. 
we are going to need to do a few measurements and get a few things taken care of for that. But yeah, that won't be a problem. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully it won't cost us anywhere near as much as it was potentially looking like it may at the, the outset of this project. Uh, but that is going to be great. Uh, and then we'll be, yeah, really looking much, much better. Uh, starting to think about how and when we're going to expand the herd. Uh, and when we can start to introduce those into the existing herd. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot to think about as always there. But we will always uh, take our time and make the best call where we can. And all right, we are flying. Uh, like I say, some of these fields have had a little bit more slurry on than others. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see how this differs and what that looks like for us but we'll have to see we'll have to see how it how it comes together so do let us know how everything is going with yourself there what are you getting up to at the time recording that this is uh saturday uh when we are mowing this down here so this will be coming out to you on the sunday i do imagine uh so yeah let me know how the weekend's going and what you're all getting on with as well as you're if you're in harvest right now or or what we're looking to to get done on the farm always intrigued to know and now we just need to go down to the bottom end and we're going to do this all again really because there's the other side of this little wood here that we need to tackle but then ultimately it shouldn't take us too long at all uh we'll get this all this cleared down and we're laughing try and keep it in the straightish line just so we don't make too much of work for the the tetherman to get everything caught up but yeah let's just uh there we go we're down and we'll keep it in line with that fence post there. And then we've got that little dog leg over there to do as well. But that is pretty much it. Nice and easy, really. We could set up the GPS to do all this. But really, for this field there, it's, it, there's not really a straight edge to the field. So it's not going to make too much of a difference in my mind. Uh, the main difference, the main thing really is for me is just to get this all mowed down. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it in its swath now for today and tomorrow. Day three, we'll throw it around a bit, I imagine. Uh, and we'll leave it out like that after that for day three and day four. And day five, we'll we'll throw it around one more time. And then we'll leave it until it gets rowed up, ready to bail. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is bringing in the nephew, I think, to drive something. And then we'll have to figure out, I might try and get one more person to come and help. Uh, and just see how we how we get on there. But yeah, there's lots. There's going to be lots happening, that's for sure. All hands to the deck. Because I want to get this all raked up, bailed up, stacked up. Or packed up and then stacked up in one in one day so that's going to be the, the challenge uh, but we will we will take that challenge on and we'll see whether or not well, that means we're going to stagger how much hay we cut down in a single day we just start with this field today and come back and cut another field or another two fields tomorrow i don't know that might be the way we have to uh, approach this but yeah everything else is uh everything else should go swimmingly all of the machines are ready to roll it's nice being able to bring in the contractor to worry about that slurry because otherwise it would have been me doing that for a full day really at least and that would have set us back a little bit and you know start to pile things on top of each other so if we're able to do that you know and it makes sense then i'm absolutely gonna to pull the trigger on it so fortunate enough to have it and that uh contractor in question there is actually working on a partnership with that company for a demonstration so he was eager to try it out and to see how he got on there as well so it was very much a win-win for both parties all right, Massey is purring up the hill. And we nearly finished this little block off here. And then, yeah, we'll be good to go. These spring crops are over on the, the far side of the road there as well that you can just see are, are doing well. They could do with a splash of rain. They had a little bit, but they could always do with a, a touch more. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, they're looking okay. Uh, for, some of the, for some of them over there, it's the first time they've gone into arable land for a while. Uh, so it's always going to be a tricky one. Uh, but no, they're doing okay. The oilseed rape just over the road here is a lot better than I anticipated that it would do as well. So I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, and otherwise, there's not much else to report really for this week. It's been a busy week of doing bits and pieces. Uh, and we are all going now. So we're going to keep cracking along with the hay. Uh, and then we will bring you along when we're ready to get this all bailed up and get the first stage of the equine hay in the shed. So hopefully, I'll be next week and it'll all go without a hitch. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. This has been David for another episode of The Tenant Farmer. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing, and we will see you all in the next one. Catch you later.